What up, everybody? Bitcoin's currently trading at $67,736. We definitely got smacked off of that $68,000 uh, that $68,000 line of resistance. Um, man, that kind of sucked. But uh, hopefully we can turn that into support soon. We do have the election coming up in less than a month. So crypto markets are definitely going to be uh, interesting for the next two or three months. I'm definitely curious to... Uh, to hear your guys' opinions down in the comments on how you guys think that's going to go or what is your plans depending on how that goes. Um, but yeah, we got a new CPU mineable co uh, coin for you guys. Kind of popped up on my radar, kind of ignored it. And then Rabbit did a video on it. So I'm going to do a video on it because, you know, Rabbit's probably monetized and I'm not. And to help that, you should make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, help out the channel, help me keep making these videos because crypto YouTube sucks. Like my drone uh e-bike youtube doing well my crypto youtube not doing so well but yeah so i'm gonna show you guys how to get this set up in windows and hive os we're gonna do all that fun stuff and yeah let's get into it okay so the coin we're gonna be going over today is shea coin decentralized secure for the people um, they have their own algo, which is always interesting. Um, Shadecoin is designed to bring back the essence of decentralized mining this is, that Satoshi envisioned as a Bitcoin fork. So it is a CPU mineable Bitcoin fork. Um, yeah, so it's supposed to be like a OG Bitcoin knockoff. Kind of cool. Um, decentralized pools, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So nothing super interesting for block time. We are going to have a target block time of two minutes, a total supply of after four years, there'll be approximately 5,775,646. Um, after four years, they have a telemission of 0.1. So I think all of it's going to be mined out in four years. And then they have 420,000, 42069, uh, 690. So 42069, really awesome there. Uh, they have that allocated to a community wallet. And yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. And they do have a white paper you can download. I'm not downloading that. Always make sure you guys, uh, be safe, secure with these like weird coin websites and everything, anything you download, make sure you're smart about it. Don't want to get hacked or anything like that. Cause at the end of the day, this is just some sketchy project. Also, this one's kind of a pain in the butt to set up. So follow along. So first things first, you're going to come over here, download your wallet. I will try to get everything linked down below in the description. Sometimes YouTube doesn't like that. So you're going to come over here, download the zip for the wallet. You're going to download, extract it. I actually saw a really cool tip from Rabid Mining. If you don't follow him, just go follow him. Watch some of his old videos. They're great. Um, when you go to set up your wallet, um, when you set up for the data directory, set up a data folder inside the folder with the with the wallet, because then you can save all your keys and stuff directly in there instead of having to go through and dig through the data directory. Unless you just like doing all that stuff, then go ahead and do it. But that is a smart way of doing it. So go ahead, download the wallet, extract it, make sure you're safe. Don't want to infect your computer or anything. This definitely could 100% be a virus and rock your stuff. I'm using this on a dedicated computer, so not necessarily worried about that. I don't really do anything important on this computer, just like crypto stuff. So yeah, go ahead, download your wallet, extract it. You'll do all that stuff. For once, this one actually has the nodes actually in it, so it will sync. It'll just sync a very, very slow, but mine took about an hour and a half, two hours to sync. And it did. I haven't gotten anything paid into it yet. Cause yeah, but we'll get into that later in the video. So you're going to come over, just hit receive, create receiving address. It'll give you address. You're going to copy that. Now you have your address. Yeah. Shut that down. Uh, once you have your address, you can come over here to Hive OS. We'll start with Hive this time because we always start with Windows. Actually, nope. 
we're going to go ahead and start with Windows. So this is going to be the miner for Windows. It is predominantly in Chinese and it is sketchy as all given. Download this at your own risk. I'm going to do it because why not? Um, but yeah, be very careful. Going to go ahead, download the wallet, extract it, and then it will already have everything in there for you. Let me go ahead and pull mine up. If I can find it. Here we go. Boom. So right click edit. It'll already have this stuff. You can go ahead and set your thread. The poll will be there. You'll just paste in your wallet address, then go ahead, file, save, and then you're all set up and ready to go. Um, yeah, super easy, super simple. It'll set it, set it up, let it run. Um, be very careful. We are, uh, at least I'm not sure if there's anything sketchy. This could be like a virus could bug your whole computer. So be very careful about that, but quick and easy. Um, if you found any help in this video or appreciate this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. I have to continuously say that throughout videos or people won't do it. My videos die and I lose subscribers and I'm still not even monetized. So yeah, do all those things. But yeah, super easy, super simple. Uh, now for Hive OS, it's going to be just as easy and just as simple. You're going to come over here. As you guys can see, I have it mining with Block X on a 3800 XT. Still an awesome CPU in 2024, my opinion. But what you'll come over here and do is you'll find Shacoin, GUI, Pool, Configure, and Miner. And then you're going to do a custom miner. Uh, you're going to come to this page over here for viperlab.net. I will have it linked down below in the description. You're going to want this one, the shapot 0.0.0.15.tar.gz. You're going to want to download that. Once you have that downloaded, well, no, you're not going to download that. Sorry, misspoke. You're going to come over here. You're going to hit copy address, uh, copy link address. You're going to copy that, come back over to your flight sheet, and then you're going to paste that. Uh, not going to put anything for algorithm for wallet.worker. You're going to put that, but it doesn't actually use the worker for your pull URL. If you downloaded it on windows, you can just copy it from there, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Even though like a dingbat, I closed it. God dang it. I knew there was a reason why I did Windows first, and that would be why. Edit. So you're going to use the same uh, pull URL that's in there. Paste that. And actually, we're going to go back to the one that I already have set up because there's a, there's a specific arguments or yeah you have to put in down at the bottom so you're going to use that same uh pull from the windows version if you don't have the windows version because you're only doing it on high bricks it's going to be wss uh colon backslash backslash pool dot shakecoin dot org and then but when you put it down here you're going to want to have you're going to want to have a lowercase w because if you do an uppercase w it's not going to work i spent a decent amount of time messing around with that yeah and you're going to want to make sure there's no spaces after your dashes and all of that because oof, that will mess it up and make it so it doesn't work and then if you guys are running to an issue where you have everything done right um i will have as much of this link down below in the description as possible um or on my Patreon, everything will be there. If you want to go ahead, join up on there, help a brother out. But, uh, yeah, if it's still not working for whatever reason, you can come over here and go into your, uh, hive shell, just type in apt update that symbol, that symbol, uh, apt install library lib SSL dash dev dash space dash Y go ahead put that in there. It'll help you out. Save that. I'll need that. But yeah, 
Um, then you're going to hit apply changes. And then you're off to the roads. And then for mining, I had a couple rigs on. This is not like um, something like random X or something where you're like, you have a hash rate and it holds that hash rate. This hash rate fluctuates a lot. So you kind of have to wait 24 hours to get your average. And also the pool website sucks. So like if you want to recheck, it's best to like refresh it, paste in your address, see what's going on. But um, yeah, I have 265 hashes. Um, I would definitely recommend watching Rabbit's video. If I remember to, I will link that down below in the description because he talks about kind of what profitability is looking at or was looking like because he dropped a video which tanked everything. As you can see, here's the coin pre Rabbit video. Here's the coin after Rabbit video. This coin is listed on non KYC. Uh, I will have a link down below to the description in the, uh, yeah, link down to this exchange down below in the description. It is early. I am tired. Um, so you guys can get to this exchange and use it. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, I think I did use this one at one point in the past and, uh, <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that. I did use this, uh, exchange at one point in the past and I do think that some of their fees are like ridiculous and so you may get rocked with fees so just keep that in mind if you're going to send something in here um yeah but yeah not quite sure how much longer profitability is going to hold because earlier there were actually connected miners went down a little bit but i'm not quite sure by how much like 400 miners probably are offline but they've probably been mining on it for a minute and after rabbit's video yeah so we'll see where it goes me personally i'm going to be dumping this as quick as possible like i'm gonna get paid i'm gonna sell it but it could pump you know who knows this could be one of those coins that pumps up to like five dollars which wouldn't be half bad depending on how many you've mined for that but we'll see um definitely if it gets listed on zagex or something i would definitely be, rather be selling there so uh once it does get listed on there, if it gets listed on there, I know they're not as quick to list coins just because there was that time where stuff was just popping out one after another. And they've definitely started to not list as many coins as quickly. They have to be out for a little bit and then they'll pick them up, which is understandable because they make more money from coins that are actually doing something than coins that aren't. But um, yeah, that's how to get it set up in mining. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, check out some of their videos on the channel. Helps out the channel. Um, I do plan on doing an AI trading bot, bot uh, AI trading bot, bot update video. Um, I didn't get to this week. I'm like behind on homework and got some 3d printing projects on the press. So I've been focusing on those. And then also we have a sword chain video coming out cause they're going mainnet soon. And yeah, so you guys have a nice day and peace out. <laughs>